We are Sorted, a group of mates from London exploring the newest and best in the world of food whilst trying to have a few laughs along the way. <laughs> we've got chefs, we've got normals, and a whole world of stuff for you to explore, but everything we do starts with you. Hello everyone, I'm Mike, this is Jamie, and welcome to Fridge Cam. Now it turns out you guys really like to see Mike being put under pressure, so we did it again against a chef. Ebbers, 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 can't you see? It's a mystery box, are you ready? I'm so re I have been listening to carols all morning. How is she? This is our mystery box challenge, <laughs> where a normal goes up against a chef to cook a dish with the same ingredients in the same amount of time, and then both dishes get judged by this guy. Barry will taste the two dishes without knowing who cooked what, and then he'll work out which one is his favourite. So in front of you is a bo oh, I've gone in that box. It's, it's a tray. It's a tray with some mystery and also some poking out ingredients that all relate to... Christmas. Sweet Christmas. Sweet Christmas. Sweet Christmas. No. Uh, chocolate. Pastry. Mince meat, big fan of. Spices. Nice. Chocolate coins, Christmas. I'm guessing clementines. Eggs, cream. Cream cheese. That is eggnog. Catering to our friends on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. We'll give you a couple of minutes to have a bit of a think. Uh, we'll gather some store cupboard ingredients or any other equipment that you might need. And then we're going to put 45 minutes on the clock and we're going to press go. I actually don't know what I'm going to do. I want to use that because it's there and I feel like that's the only thing there that's going to give it structure, unless you bake something. Can I just look up the measurements for a brownie? Should we say no? Fine. Okay. No. no. What about spiced beer? Sounds good. I'm in big trouble here. Here's what I'm going to allow you to do. I will start the timer, and at that point, you can look in a book to look up the measurements. Your 45 minutes starts now. OK, I'm thinking crispy phyllo pastry, and therefore I need to bake it off. And I'm going to do that between two sheets of paper with a Christmas flavour, cinnamon. OK, I'm going to melt some butter and then I'm going to make some cinnamon sugar. OK, cool. Um, I need to start melting that chocolate, so I've got... Baymarie, Baymarie. I think I'm going to make um, a chocolate brownie flavoured with uh, ginger, a little bit of cinnamon and a tiny bit of nutmeg. Nice. Um, and then, because this is the only thing in the whole kitchen that I actually know how to make, obviously you're going to make an espresso martini. Um, and I thought what I might do is heat up the eggnog to maybe be a sauce. Are you trying to throw Barry off the scent? Yes. Because Ben always makes up for the fact that his dish isn't as good by making a, <laughs> making a drink. drink to go with it. So the plan is some crispy phyllo pastry for the plate. Now wouldn't it be great if you could layer that milfoy kind of style? Oh. With, and that's why that was there, a white chocolate mousse. Jamie and I are expecting a mousse. What, how are you defining a mousse? Eggs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes! This is why we have a chef, because I don't know the definition of a mousse. Dust it with icing sugar, which has got some cinnamon in it. Then it's the first of our Christmas flavours. These little scrunchy bits, excellent. Bake those off as well. And you can just put them over like mincemeat or something, I don't know. I can't work out whether you beat the sugar and the butter together like a cake or you put the butter in to melt with the chocolate and I can't remember. Do you think it matters? I do think it matters. Here's my question for you, James. Yeah. Does it matter? Probably. Probably. Oh, I've done the wrong thing here. I don't know really what I'm doing. I think he's given himself a lot. I put the butter into there and I'm going to uh, I'm going to cream it with this. So butter, sugar. I beat that and then I think I go egg one at a time and then a bit of flour and then a bit of cocoa. You said a mousse has to have eggs in it, so we're going to go egg white. Should probably weigh that, shouldn't I? Yep. Proper Christmas flavour, Baileys. And this one is homemade, so we're going to use it. 
So egg whites I want to take to stiff peaks and then add some sugar. I would call those eggs soft peaks. I want a soft mousse. Ben, you have half an hour left. Soft peaky. No time. Chocolate in. Essentially what he is now doing is the mixer's job, is that right? Yeah. Yep. Cocoa. Lumps. Then the flour. Okay. These have to go in quick. Mike, you have 30 minutes left. Okay, damn it, that's not long. Bit of cinnamon, oh, I don't know. Nutmeg. Oh, salt. Pinch. Oh, that's good. Four. Okay, that's going in. I'm gonna say 20 minutes, but mainly because I only have 20 minutes. It's not gonna cool in time. No! I was gonna chop that up and put chunks through it. Hot pan, might as well reuse it with cider, cinnamon stick, star anise. Tip them all in. One clove. I think you'd overpower, if you just went all in, you'd overpower white chocolate. Fine. But it's got to cool, otherwise this isn't going to pipe. And then foldy McGee in two batches to put your air into it. If this goes wrong, I will do a wonderful um, pivot. Bailey's white chocolate snowball on the plate. Snowball? With some cinnamon phyllo shards. That sounds Are better you than your dish that you're planning on doing. <laughs> and the cream and the chocolate do their thing. 26 minutes and 12 seconds. There's no nozzle in that, is that an issue? No, because I'm doing a... Um, it's an issue. I'm going to try and heat up some eggnog and see if it makes a cream. I'm going to make an espresso. So I'm going to need um, sugar syrup for my espresso martini. So I thought I'd make a spicy Christmassy one using all of these, what I assume to be Christmas spices. So sugar, water, ginger, all the spices, <laughs> all the cinnamon. Did you see all of those in there? <laughs> yep. I haven't got long for it to infuse. Flavour. You have 21 minutes left. Perhaps more. Oh, 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 oh. Do you know what? I might have got away with that. I'm going to get them off a hot tray. Have they come out like you wanted them to? They are a nice golden brown, <laughs> um, <laughs> like the chimney that Santa will descend. Well, your mousse is very sweet, so you want a little bit of bitter. Depending on whether this eggnog heats up nicely, it tastes quite nice and spicy and really creamy. I'm thinking chocolate brownie with the eggnog poured over the top with a spicy Christmas espresso martini. OK, eggnog is going in. It's really thick and it looks nice. It's gone really thin. And that is not what I wanted. Yeah. This sucks. Experiment number one, it doesn't look like it's scrambling. 15 minutes left. I would not want to be you right now. That's thickening lumpy. And big lumps of cornflour. Is that a lump of cornflour? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put some cream in this. 12 minutes left. Cider just coming up to a boil, and I want to mull those spices with some clementine. That heats up more if you switch it on. So when you said a minute ago, the cider's coming up to a gentle simmer, what you meant was it's coming up to room temperature. Going into cider. Right, let's go down the freezer. This is wobbly AF. Damn, damn, damn. What's your plan B? None. Let's make an espresso martini. This is vodka. Kahlua. So I'm just going to chill this now. That eggnog is now developing a really lovely skin. So <laughs> can't wait to serve that up. Skinny eggnog on undercooked brownie. I genuinely think that I'm going to get to a stage where I have to serve the brownie in the silicon. So. I'm preparing for that. Okay. That's darker than phyllo is usually, isn't it? It's, yeah, nice crispy. Well, careful, oh. mate. Oh. Is, is, that, is that greasy or is it just the Didn't sugar? need that one. Do you think you could do more for the dish? <laughs> Before now, in these challenges, I've done too much and they've all fought against each other. This is less is more. I need to allow time to make it look good on a plate. 
That moose is not going to set, so I need to rethink this. Whoa! We'd have to rethink it. No. Make a snowball. Make a snowball. Five minutes left. Sugar syrup. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is as good as it's going to get. You're scraping the barrel. <laughs> just thinking, just thinking. That's not going to work, is it? By the time you got sexies, that's going to be a puddle. Mike might have a chance. You're so right. Will it, it might hold. I think I'm just going to sit it out for six minutes. You're going to sit it out for six minutes? Out? But then I can make a decision whether that is going to set or not. I think on the inside you're unravelling right now. Because yeah. in the last seven minutes <laughs> you've put a disc of kilo onto a plate. I'm not going to add more to this. Mike is, good, right? Mike is back in the game. <laughs> Are you allowed to call it a milf way if it's only got two layers? Surely it's just a duh. Wait, do you want to tell him that there's two minutes left or should I? Mike, you've got two minutes. It's not worked. It's worked. It's, it's not worked. Good. The bottom layers are already squidging out. I'm going to wait for the others. Oh, that's impressive. This might be a bigger meltdown than the last one. These are more delicious than they look. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get that into the... Um, uh, Sexies. Barry. Hello. Hello. James and I have had a lot of fun. I'm not sure if either of these guys have. Both dishes are now presented in front of you. So please lift the cloche on the first one and then read the description. White chocolate and Bailey's snowball mousse with cinnamon phyllo shards and mulled cider clementine. I actually don't know what snowball actually is. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh, oh no, it's dipped in it. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh no! This is the Slice Your Own Brownie Christmas Gift Set. Are small portions ruining your Christmas spirit? Well, serve yourself jolly with this delicious family style gingerbread chocolate brownie served with espresso eggnog and a festive spiced espresso martini. Okay, right. May I? Eat, please. Yeah. Have a Christmas. Okay. Oh, do I turn it out? Oh no, it's. <laughs> Oh, look, it is perfectly. Oh, straight Ooh. through. Nice size family, oh, that. Oh. Didn't quite make it to the plate. Bit of a skin. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It looks great. Once it's on the plate and you kind of go with it. Oh, that is unbelievably rich. It's got, it's slightly cooked on the outside, which gives it a nice crisp. I, I think it could have had a little bit longer. <laughs> When you say slightly cooked on the outside, does that I mean it's raw? That maybe... It's definitely raw in the middle. Right. In the brownie, I'm not getting much Christmas. In the eggnog, I'm not getting much Christmas. Okay. I think if it had a little bit longer, this could have worked perfectly. But it's not a bad experience when it's not quite cooked. I might feel a little bit ill later on, but that's the most Christmas thing here. That is a very good espresso festive espresso martini. The two go really well. I'm actually quite impressed. Mm. Very Christmas. I'm not sure, I can't tell what's been done to it. Have they been blanched? They've taken on a hint of Christmas. They don't taste cidery at all. These look brilliant. Mm. Incredibly light. Beautifully creamy. It's very festive. It's really simple as well. It's not, it's not trying too hard. Not trying too hard, is that how you would describe it? I really like it. It's a Christmassy sweet treat, which is exactly what the brief was. Snow melts, doesn't it? I'm going to have to give this to the one that fits the brief the best, the Christmassiest dish on the table, which is the white chocolate mousse. <laughs> or would we like Barry to guess who he thinks the winner is? Ben's a chef. 
Mike's not. <laughs> Ebers, well done. Well done. That is delicious. Nice one. Well done. Well done, everyone. Well played, Ebers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I am not ashamed. It wasn't, it wasn't brilliant, but I'm not ashamed. You shouldn't be ashamed. You had less of a meltdown than Ebers did. <laughs> My brownie had a meltdown. <laughs> do you like seeing us try to beat a chef? If you do, let us know. Comment down below. Give the video a like. Saw a white fluffy thing swinging through my cake shop the other day. Suspect it was a orangutan. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. No. We've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days. I haven't got much time, and that's not much of a crema. <coughs> <laughs> oh no!